The World Heritage Pito Management Area is currently under investigation. Manager Hennings Joseph says it follows numerous letters and expressed concern to the bodies that certified the Pitons. A team from UNESCO is currently on island to conduct a series of meetings with interested parties, including government officials. They will get a lot of emails and letters from persons writing about our World Heritage Site, so they wanted an opportunity to come down to meet with government officials and other stakeholders to get a first-hand impression for themselves what is the real issues with World Heritage Committee. And as such, we have planned some three days of meetings and visits to the World Heritage Site. Over the past two years, the PMA has attracted media and public attention for developments, including one by an Italian developer. So controversial was that particular housing project. It led to debates among the government and the opposition, and also drew the ire of Nobel laureate Derek Walcott. Despite that, Joseph says the country is not in danger of losing its status. We are not in danger. There are some concerns where that is where our PMA is concerned, but in terms of being being um, delisted and things, so. That is far from the truth. Meetings will be held in Castries and Souffre where the Pitons are located. Joseph says everyone from landowners to business people will be consulted. We have a meeting this morning with um, senior government officials, technical people. This afternoon we are meeting with stakeholders from, from Castries. And tomorrow we have a whole day meeting in Souffre. We'll be meeting with um, stakeholders, um, landowners, um, hotel managers, hotel owners, um, community-based organizations to discuss the issues, what is happening in and within the PMA. Joseph says the PMA, as is mandated, submits an annual conservation report to UNESCO. He says feedback from these do not suggest the country's world heritage status is in danger. The visiting team will hold meetings until Wednesday. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.